increase the stability of the car, I wanted to try longer suspension arms. Not a bit longer, significantly longer. Many years ago, we used to have a long arms on our first T1 platform, but back in this time, the cars were not as fast as today, and to make the car reactive, we had to change for shorter suspension arms. However, with today's fast cars, the longer arms could bring back the desired traction. But before making any changes to the molds, I wanted to be sure that our theory will work. We made the first prototypes with longer arms from aluminium and compared them with our current short aluminium suspension arms. It was great relief when the first test proved our theory is correct. I felt the car had more traction, more stability, and it was easier to drive in the chicanes as the car stays more flat. Once I knew that the long arms had a real potential, we decided to work on the molds. The first step was to make the arms without any holes, so it could easily drill different shocks mounting positions, but also make different lengths to compare the characteristics under different track conditions. I do not remember the exact number of the different alternatives we made and tested, but it was probably close to 20 different designs. The current design of the ULP shocks works great, and I did not want to make any changes to them directly. However, I still wanted to test even lower shock mounting positions to lower the center of the gravity. The quick solution was to make different shock extensions. As I expected, the lower shock mounting positions made the car more stable, especially on carpet tracks. This positive outcome convinced me to change the design of the final suspension arms to include two different mounting positions. With the all-new suspension design, I wanted to fully integrate the ARS system, so there was no need to change the suspension arm holders when you want to switch between the standard and ARS suspension. After some creative engineering and design, I came up with the final design of the arms, where I combined both types of the suspensions into one. Easy and smart. 